Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me today. How are you? Very good, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's such an exciting time for you because a couple of weeks ago you released a new single. Um, how are you feeling to have it out there? Um, I think we're, we're feeling pretty good up, uh, about it at the moment. It was a little bit more pop than we normally do. Like I would say still pop punk, but um, a little bit more tame, but we were really excited to explore that. And it's one of my personal favorites that we've done. So, yeah. And what makes it one of your personal favorites? Um, I don't know. I guess it's just really fun. It's easy to like dance to on stage and I think it's really catchy. So I like it for those reasons. Yeah. And it looks like on social media, um, it's received some great feedback. So what have some of the responses been like? Have people reached out and um, said they're loving the track? Do you want to take this one? Um, you can talk about the review. Yeah, we've got a couple of reviews in um, Triple J about how catchy it is and how it reminds people of uh, the 2000s scene from like the movies, like it sounds like a movie soundtrack and how it's really catchy and upbeat. And that's what we've been getting a lot lately. Yeah, and it's interesting you mentioned the upbeat sound because that's what I love about it too. When you guys have been releasing music for a couple of years now, um, so how has your sound evolved over the years? Do you feel like you've found the right sound now or do you think that's something you'll continue to grow with? Do you want to take yeah. this one? Ahead? Yeah, I can take this one. Um, yeah, I think like just us like being together for longer, we've like uh, been able to like grow together as like the three of us and um, like bring in new influences. So I don't think like we're finished evolving and like finding our sound yet. I think we're like still definitely exploring and seeing what works and obviously what doesn't work. Um, so we'll probably make some mistakes uh, in the future and be like, oh, maybe that doesn't work. But uh, it's all part of figuring out what uh, what our sound is and and what uh, what works well for the three of us. Yeah. And with the sound, you mentioned that you draw some inspo from bands, including Yours Truly and Neck Deep. What is it about these particular bands that inspire you and your band? Yeah, I think it's just like the um, like the fun, um, like catchy nature of it. Like it's just upbeat. It's like obviously they still have some slower and sadder songs, but um, for the most part, it's sort of uplifting um, and it's just fun to play. Um, it's none of us get bored playing it on stage. We're, we're all like giving it 110% and it's easier and fun to do that when you're playing that fast BPMs and you're, you're just really going for it. So I think all of that, like just sort of raw energy is what, um, what like really inspires us. Yeah. And it's good that you guys are having fun playing that live as well. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> so going back to your release uh, with you, can you walk me through some of the inspirations behind this release? Um, do you want to talk about yeah. like the making of it and stuff? Yeah, well, um, since I'm like the only, cause we're a three piece and, uh, predominantly write most of the guitars and like the bass and stuff. I was just messing around, messing around one, um, uh, one night and I, I took a, like a different approach to writing our, our, like our songs. So I went from just like writing it off, like on the top of my head to just like finding a melody first, like thinking of it as like a singer and then writing around that instead. And so I came up with like a really simple, but just like upbeat and catchy groove. And then I was like, I passed it to her, I passed it to Maya and said, oh, I mean, I've done all the stuff that I could do. I don't know how to like write lyrics like you do in Melody. And she just turned into the song we have now. Yeah. And then we just like, with a lot of our songs, I guess, yeah, we take like something really, really basic that we have, like one of the three of us will, will come up with something basic and then we kind of take it into a rehearsal and build off that and sometimes it will become a completely different song but um yeah i guess one of the inspirations to put this one out is so it's basically one of the songs on our next ep that comes out on the 29th and we thought we would release this one first because um we think it's one that a lot of different groups would like um so I guess we're we're trying to explore. I guess we still stay in the pop punk genre, but this is a song that I think other people that even wouldn't listen to pop punk would like as well. 
Definitely. I feel like after listening to the track, it's got a bit of something in there for everyone, no matter like what their music taste is. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of your EP, you've mentioned that it describes, uh, goes through themes of um, growing up and change. I'd love to hear like what each of you learned about yourself um, through recording and writing this EP. Um, personally, for the lyrics, for me, um, there's a lot of fun stuff, a lot of random, but um, a few of the songs are very vulnerable as well. So um, it was really nice for me to explore that. And it's kind of like a bit of therapy for me. Um, so that's kind of what I really enjoyed exploring and getting out that side. Yeah, uh, for me, just as a songwriter, I've never really like, written any songs, like yes. as long as you have. <laughs> and I haven't done much songwriting in the past, but in that EP, I was really able to explore what I can do and surprise myself with the things that I came up with. So yeah, I was really proud of the things that I did and discovered in myself and my playing ability. Yeah, I think for, for me, it was um, like same sort of with uh, with Jed um, and just getting to really explore like different genres of drumming while still sort of remaining within pop punk and and learning how to uh, to like build a song and like serve a song, not just play whatever I want to play, but play something that um, that works for everyone um, and just trying to draw different influences and just really expand on my own like uh musicianship and my own like drumming capabilities and just it was cool to to figure out myself as a player yeah thanks for sharing that it sounds like from what you've shared that um, it's got some universal themes which means that everyone no matter where they're at in life is going to be able to connect to your music and it's going to bring people together as well for sure that's what we hope for yeah <laughs> thanks for us <laughs> Um, and to celebrate the release, you've got that EP launched up next month. Um, tell us what you have in store um, and what we can expect from it. Um, we do have a couple surprises, maybe some guest appearances. Um, we're hoping to make it our biggest show yet. Um, so we just want to we want to keep it really new. We're also doing tracks for the first time, um, so the songs will be a lot fuller and have a lot more energy. Um, what do you think? Yeah, um, was, we're just planning to make it as big as we can and the best that we've ever played. And we're trying to get the whole um, venue packed out so we can people can really see what we will put to the table and how much we've gotten better from the last shows and mm. what like we can do in the future. Yeah, and it's on the 5th yeah. of April, if you want to come. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just going to be as uh, as crazy as possible. We want to show off what we can do. And and uh, so it's just going to be loud and full of energy. For sure. Sounds amazing. It's definitely going to be a show that people aren't going to want to miss. <laughs> definitely. Um, so for anyone that's coming across your band and your music for the first time, how would you guys describe um, your sound and what you guys represent as a band and who you are? Do you want to take this, Hayden? Yeah. yeah um i would say like our sound we sort of try and blend um like old school 2000s pop punk with like modern elements um and we we just like uh, try to be a fun band we um like uh obviously like touch on serious sort of content uh lyric wise but we still want to keep it fun um so that's like the main thing like we, we we're just trying to draw on like artists that influenced us um like growing up and artists that still influence us. Um, but like try and keep it modern um, just so that it, it, it uh, like attracts all different types of listeners. Um, and we just try to bring something different to the table. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so you've got the EP launch coming up next month and you've got obviously the release of the EP, but what do you guys have in store for the rest of the year? Do you have any other big goals that you're working on together as a band? um yeah we definitely have a lot of goals mm -hmm. um i think we uh want to go interstate again um we went interstate for the first time for a new year's show loser fest and that was super fun um so we want to do that do bigger venues support some 
of our favorite artists and just keep growing as a band. Hopefully um, we can keep building a fan base and really connect with those people. We're and quite a new music video. We've yeah. uh, been working on stuff. Uh, the yeah. whole way through we were recording the EP, we're still writing new stuff. And so we've been itching yeah. to them. They yeah. continue with uh, some new stuff as well. Yeah, we have heaps coming up. Yeah, and I feel like those um, future songs that we're going to do would really like help us shape what our sound is going to be like. As, yeah. As, like the more we write, the more we find out what works for us, like Hayden said, and like how we actually want to sound like, because we're still a relatively new band. We've only been together for just over a year now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we all love the same type of music, but we want to keep pursuing what our actual sound is and the, the more we make, the more we write, the more we get closer to that. And you mentioned just then that um, one of your goals is connecting with new people. And I love seeing like the unique ways that artists connect with their fans. So what are some ways that you like connecting with people who listen to your music? Um, I think, I mean, obviously one of the best ways is meeting people at shows. Um, when we first started performing live, which was pretty much straight away. Um, I was not great at speaking, but I feel like I'm getting a lot better at that. So I think interacting with the crowd and just having good chats and see what they're doing, why they're there and everything like that is really good to connect. Also just through social media and hearing about how people have found us and making new connections, especially with other bands and artists. Yeah, and hopefully there'll be um, heaps of opportunities for that at your show next month as well. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so that's all my questions. Did you guys have any comments you wanted to add about this release or about yourself as a band that you haven't mentioned? Um, so, yeah, we are super excited for this release. Um, our EP, debut EP, EP, our debut EP comes out on the 29th of this month, March. Um, so if you would like to listen, you should head to our social media and we've got all of our links and everything there. Um, and if you want to see it live, it's going to be a really sick show and that's on the 5th of April.